What's up guys? This is Ted Claudio of WhatsApp.ph Photography and today in our learning series of the science and art of photography, we're going to teach you how to achieve the perfect exposure using your camera's manual setting by playing around with the exposure triangle. So that is aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Okay, let's do it! <music> This learning series has been brought to you by by Fujifilm Philippines with our XT100. Okay. So, na-discuss na natin yung aperture sa yung shutter speed. So, now how do you combine the two to come up with the right exposure? Okay? So, gamitin muna natin 'tong dalawa na to. Isang tabi muna natin yung ISO. Sinabi natin yung aperture pag mas malaki yung butas there will be more light to go in. Okay. So, let's say, ang senaryo natin is ikukumpara natin yung correct exposure sa pagpuno ng isang basong tubig. Okay. So, ibig sabihin natin, pag napuno mo yung isang baso, na-expose mo yung picture mo correctly. Hindi siya over, hindi siya under. Kung baga sa baso, hindi siya umaapaw, hindi siya kulang. Sakto lang. Okay. So, paano natin ma-achieve yun? Using the combination of aperture sa shutter speed. So, una, sinabi natin yung aperture, nilakihan natin yung butas. Kung baga sa gripo, lalakasan mo yung bukas ng gripo. So, ano mangyayari pag malakas ang bukas ng gripo? Mas maraming tubig na lalabas. Okay? So, ang, ang comparison niya is, pag malaki yung aperture mo, mas maraming liwanag na lalabas at papasok do sa sensor. Okay? So, pag niliitan mo yung butas ng gripo, hininaan mo lang siya, so, maaring patak-patak lang or konti lang yung daloy niya, mapupuno rin yung baso, kaya lang matagal. Okay? So, ganun din sa camera. So, if gumamit ka ng aperture na malaking ganyan, mas mabilis. Pag gumamit ka ng aperture na mas maliit, like uh, F16, mas matagal, mapuno yung correct exposure dito sa sensor. Okay, so using the combination of the two, pwede mong gawing ganito. Lakasan mo yung bukas ng gripo at mabilis mapuno yung baso. So sa camera, ang analogy niya is yung aperture mismo is malaki ang butas like F2. So mas maraming light na papasok so sa sensor, so mas ma mabilis mong maa-achieve yung exposure. So, ibig sabihin, yung shutter speed mo, pwede siyang mas mataas. In our example, magiging, let's say, 1 over 60. Pero, kung ang aperture mo naman is, let's say, maliit, like F16, so patak-patak lang siya, matagal mapuno yung tubig, so kailangan mo ng mahabang oras para mapuno yung baso. So, in our camera settings, so if you set it to F16, kailangan yung shutter speed mo, Wag 1 over 60, kailangan mas mahaba hanggang maging 0 yung meter. So that is how we balance aperture and shutter speed kumpara ron sa lakas ng bukas ng gripo at gaano katagal mo binukas ang gripo. Okay guys, so hopefully you have learned a lot of things today regarding our topic. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions below. See you in the next episode. This is Ted Claudio of WhatsApp.ph Photography. And see you in the next episode. So, natapos na natin yung aperture. Natapos na natin yung shutter speed. So, yung third na settings ng exposure triangle is yung ISO.